evening and welcome back to Tallinn to the Ring Sport and Spa Centre. My name is Rory McAllister. I'll be your commentator for the end of day two here at the European Championships in the heart of Estonia in Tallinn. What a day we've had so far. And we're just about to get underway uh, with this 10 metre air pistol men junior final. So there is my name resplendent uh, on the television screen. So the crowd have gathered here uh, for this final. Plenty of countries represented as well from firing points A to H. Uh, but first of all, before we get underway, let's just have a look, a very brief look as well, at this wonderful city of Tallinn. So I think that pretty much just shows off Tallinn in all its resplendence as well. Uh, the music starts, the crowd are ready, and we're getting set now for the 10 metre air pistol men junior final. This is our final event of day two here at the European Championships. It's my honor to present you the eight best athletes of the qualifications who are competing in the ranking match of this finals. On firing point A, representing Hungary, Marta Redeci with his coach, Georgi Pavlika. So the first athlete comes in to the field of play on firing point A, representing Hungary, Marte Redzicici. Representing Ukraine, Maxim Limon with his coach, Volodymyr Ivanchuk. So this is Maxim Himon of Ukraine on firing point B. His second appearance at the field of play because he competed here yesterday afternoon. Representing Turkey, Adnan Ete Uca with his coach, Murat Oyo. There's big support for the Turkish athletes as well on firing point C. Adnan F.A. Uçar. Now here's Noah Mola of Germany. And I've been following Noah's career for quite a while. I saw him shoot just over the last couple of months. And announcing at finals in which Noah Mola took part. So let's see how he goes today. Firing point E representing Romania. This is Luca Jolda. So this is Matteo Mastro Valerio of Italy. He was a gold medalist yesterday in the mixed team. Representing Italy. Gabriele Alto Villani with his coach Sabine Marta. And this is Gabriele Villani. Again of Italy on firing point G. And on firing point H, representing Azerbaijan. 
Vladislav Kalmyko with his coach Boyukhan Askarov. And finally, representing Azerbaijan on firing point H, Vladislav Kalimov. The jury member in charge for this finals is Jean-Louis Gardon from France. So Jean-Louis Gardon of France will be our jury member in charge. And once again, France will be representing the chief range officer as well. That will be Christian Baye. There he is, just adjusting his microphone like a true professional. Meanwhile, Vladislav Lishin, who's next to him from Estonia, he's our announcer for the final. And he'll be conducting all the finals throughout the rest of the week, because we're here till Sunday. This is only day two. So we're literally just getting warm, even though it's absolutely freezing outside. Conditions in here, though, it's nice and pleasant, actually. They've made a really good job of the field of play. And as you can see, they're looking resplendent. Here's how it finished in qualification. Noah Moller of Germany finishing top on 5.77. So five points in front of Yolda of Romania. And another two points separates third and fourth with Uka and Mastro Valerio. Here's how they line up from A to H. And who's your money on for this final? Well, Noah Moller of Germany take gold after finishing top of the qualification table. Well, we're about to find out over the next 20 minutes or so. So wherever you're joining us from around the world, do sit back and enjoy yourself with this final. Local time here in Estonia is 6.10. It's just actually 6.12 to be precise, but I suppose it is shooting. We should be precise, really, shouldn't we? So 6.12 local time here. So there's the target, a tiny 11.5 millimeters. Just think about that for a second. You've got to hit the center of it from 10 meters away in order to get a 10.9. It's a very, very challenging. So the sighting time is already underway. And that was called at six minutes. So we'll have five series of five shots. And then we'll be moving to the gold medal match. So looking at the lineup then, starting with firing point A, representing Hungary. This is Marte Radici, a bronze medalist in the 25 meter. And that was the rapid fire, one of my favorite events. There's Georgi Pavlica. And moving on now to firing point B, representing Ukraine. This is Maxim Himon, who was shooting here yesterday afternoon. Seventh in the World Championships. A great achievement to reach a World Championship final. That was in 2001. There's Volodymyr Ivanchuk. And moving on to firing point C, representing Turkey. This is Adnan Efe Ucha. Lots of Turkish support in. You can see the flags in just the background. So if Adnan goes well in this final, you'll no doubt hear the Turkish support. And there's his coat, Murat Orgun. And moving on to firing point D, the qualification leader in terms of Noah Mola of Germany. And Noah, now 19 years old, and hoping for good things in this final. A very steely German. So Jordidis Grab is his coach. And we'll move on to firing point E, representing Romania. The first time uh, Romania have come to a final over the last couple of days. And this is Luca Jolda, who was a bronze medalist at Lima at the World Championships two years ago. And there's George Pop. Or Giorgi. I think it's George Day, isn't it? George Day. 
And now it's firing point F and representing Italy, Matteo Mastro Valerio. Gold medalist, as you can see, at the European Championships in the 25 meter pistol. So just scaling that down now and back to 10 meters. And also got a gold medal here yesterday in the mixed team. Much to the delight of that man there, Francesco Bruno. And Matteo was also a medalist at the Cairo World Championships. And also representing Italy on firing point G, here's Gabriele Aldo Vellani. 18 years old, so one of the younger competitors in this particular final. And Sabine Mata is his coach. And she was looking fairly concentrated before the final when I saw them out in the preparation area. They went through equipment control. And completing our lineup on firing point H, representing Azerbaijan, Vladislav Kalmikov. Seventh place in the World Championships in Cairo last year, 2022. And there's his coach, Bjarkmin Astanova. So we're just about all set. 90 seconds to go now for this final event of day two. It's been excellent so far. Some of the events we had earlier on today, I won't spoil the results for you in case you would like to watch them back and perhaps you've just tuned in for this particular final and would like to watch the others back. I certainly would encourage that. You can do that on the European Shooting Confederation website. You'll then see the link there to the YouTube channel. You can then click on that and watch the finals back as the Turkish flag gets raised and shown in front of our cameras. So preparation and sighting time just coming to an end. The chief range officer will call when there's 30 seconds left, just so that the athletes are aware of what's going on. Obviously, a lot of them wear earbuds and ear defenders to protect their concentration. And it's amazing, even though when they've been to these finals, and ran through all the routine of a final, how sometimes just a lapse of concentration can cause a mistake. Uh, it happened earlier on today. There was a yellow card in the latter stages of one of our finals. And it just goes to show that even at this level, even when you get to the European Championships, no matter how many finals you've been through, uh, you can still just lose that little sense of concentration, which can cause you to low too early as the mistake was earlier. So they're about to call time on this. There we are. So the Chief Range Officer will now call for the first competition series load, and then he'll call start. For the first competition series load. Start. So the clock will start ticking down as we get underway with this 10 meter air pistol men junior final here at the European Championships in Tallinn, Estonia. So some shots in the nine ring, a 10.2 from Yolda. 10.7 from Villani of Italy. Great start. Another 10.2 from the other Italian. That's Mastro Valerio. Oh, I just love the way he raises his pistol. Such concentration on the face of Adnan Efe Ucha just as his eyes just track the back of the pistol as well. And just bringing that up to try and keep it as steady as possible. And a 10.6 as well. So Luca Yolder is the only left-handed shooter in this particular final. 10% of the world makes up left-handers. And I think sometimes when you talk to anyone who is left-handed, 
we really do live in a right-handed world. And I think sometimes things can be tricky for the left-handers. But in shooting, well, it just comes down to how good you are. 10.4 from Noah Moller. Some other shots in the nine ring. And 8.4 as well for Villani. 9.4 now. 10.8 from Kalnikov. So just under two minutes to go in this first series of five. Most of the athletes are at least four shots. Are still some on three. And that just comes down to your individual rhythm and your shot timing and everything that you've been through through your training over the years in order to get to an occasion such as this. And you can just see that pistol there just shaking, trying to keep things as still as possible. See in pistol, there's no aids, there's no suits, there's no stiffness. Just if anything, looser clothing. Most of the athletes either to come out in tracksuit tops or like you're just seeing on your screens now, just in t-shirts, which is looking at Villani of Italy. Just looking now at firing point A, this is Marte Radici of Hungary. It's a 9.7. Round of applause, I think, going up for Luca Yolder. 10.6. This last shot representing Romania. Okay, so that's the end of the and first uh, ranking score, match series. And it's Yolder who leads the competition Luka on a total of 50.6. And that's a fairly decent uh, score uh, for a pistol uh, final. 1.1 uh, difference between Luka Yolder and Ucha uh, of Turkey. And with a 0.7 difference between second and third. So still fairly close. And if you just look down the other scores, differences are 0 0.5, 0 0.2, 0 0.1. Very, very close. So second ranking match series about to begin. And there'll be another two minutes, 50 seconds. Sorry, 250 seconds on the clock. That's four minutes, 10. That's the president of European Shooting Confederation. That's Mr. Alexander Ratner. <laughs> Clearly in thoughts and consideration of something that's on his mind. Some shots now going into the 10 ring. 10.3s, 10.6, 10 10.1. 10 lovely 10.7 from Marte Radici of Hungary on firing point A. 10.6 from Villani of Italy. Followed up by a 9.8. So what can Marte shoot now after a 10.7? He's had two shots there, just creep into the 10 ring. Uh, 10.6. That's great shooting so far. 10.8 from Maxim Himon of Ukraine. And Noah Muller struggling a little bit. And considering he finished top of qualification, perhaps expecting more from him, but his fifth as it stands at the moment. Villani with five shots into the 10 ring. 
there's that one low one, that third shot that's really, really cost him a little bit. Looks like he's going to be first to complete as well his series. And does so. Finishes with a 10 by the looks of things. No, it didn't fire. Let's just lower the pistol. Decided to just regroup himself and go again. It's perfectly allowed. So Mastro Valerio finishes on the toast of 97.8 for this second ranking match series. Just Luca Yolda of Romania. You see the way he just sort of tilts back a little bit like that. The only left-hander in this final. 10.2, uh, great shot. So Noah Mola, now on firing point D. Also, we're just waiting for Ucha, but he's just finished. So here's Noah. And he looks down a 9.6. So yeah, not particularly pleased. And it's Villani who leads the competition now at 100.5. There's now a 0.5 gap between first and second. So Luca Yolda of Romania, 0.9 behind. And then in third place, Radici of Hungary in 0.8 behind second place. So Ucha and Mola find themselves in seventh and eighth position. So this is the last ranking match series before we have eliminations. So if it stays the way it is, then Ucha and Mola will be leaving us in this final. But this is where the third ranking match series can change everything. So four minutes ten, back on the clock. This is the third ranking match series. If you're just joining us, this is the final of the 10 meter air pistol men junior, live from Tallinn in Estonia on day two of the European Championships. My name is Rory McAllister. I'm your commentator for this final, and it's very nice to have your company. Do leave your comments as well and support if you're watching on YouTube or on Facebook. Just remember to be at kind at all times, which, you know, I know you will be. So this is Adnan F.A. Ucha. Can he stay in this final down towards the bottom of the scoreboard at the end of the second ranking match series? Needs some more shots in the 10 ring in order to stay in this. I just love the way he raises up that pistol. Eye is just fixed on the back of the pistol and then into the sight itself. Now we're looking at Marte Radici of Hungary. 8.7, not particularly great. So Maxin Himon, who's already been out here in the finals hall, he competed yesterday afternoon. And now once again, back again in a 10 metre competition. Ten point zero. That's probably good enough at this stage, at least to keep him in it for now. And Noah Mola, that's better. Ten point five from the German, and he's going to need shots like that in order to survive. So he's up to fifth as it stands at the moment. So this is Maxim Himon of Ukraine. Again, in danger of elimination, unless he can pull out a couple of good shots here in order to survive. 10.3, that's really going to help. I'm not quite sure what that German lady said. I think I know, though. Even my lip reading in German. She just said, oh, what a shame, I think. Yes. 
It's about now to Marte Redici of Hungary. 9.4 with his last shot. Been a little bit wayward here and there. Quite a scattered series for him so far. Oh. And just a kazoo going off just before he took his shot, which was a 9.9. .9. Just waiting now for Ucha to finish his series. His last shot was a 9.3. And needs something. Let's have a look. 10. He needs at least a 10, I would say, to stay in. Maybe a 9.9 .9 might save him. A 9.7 isn't going to be enough because, he, yeah, there we go. So he finishes 0.1 behind. It was 9.8 9 he needed to stay in. So we have our first eliminations from this final, leaving us on firing point A, representing Hungary, is Marte Radici. There he goes. Bronze medalist at the 25-meter rapid fire. And also leaving us representing Turkey. It's a shame because there's quite a lot of Turkish supporters in the crowd. 19 years old, leaves from firing point C. And that's Adnan F.A. Ucha. So Luka Yolda of Romania leads 150.3. And a sizable difference as well, a, a difference of 3.0 between himself and Maxim Himon of Ukraine. So already quite a distance between first and second. And if those two make it all the way towards the final stages, that will have no real, no real standing because it will get reset for the gold medal match. But as it stands for the moment, there is a 3.0 gap between Himon and Yolda. So here we go. Next ranking match series. This will now decide sixth and fifth place. So Maxim Himon second at the moment. Needs a 3.0 difference to make up. So needs to keep the shots in the tens if he can. 10.4, that's a good start in closing that gap. Meanwhile, Luca Yolda with a 10.0. So the difference now is 2.6. So the gap has closed. That's at the top between first and second. And here Noah Mulder. He was about to shoot, lowered his pistol, and is now going again. Oh, something just distracted him there. You see him looking over to the left. I think he was keeping an eye on what Maxim Himon had hit. So for Muller, 10.8. Precision shooting from the German, uh, and just at the right time as well. And here's Muller again. This will really help his cause to climb up the scoreboard. Uh, Mola with a 9.9. .9. Luca Yolda, meanwhile, still the competition leader at 9.4. Terrific shot from Mastro Valerio, 10.8. Just a closer look at Luca Yolder's performance over the last few shots. Just that one dip on short shot 14. The rest of them, though, not so bad. Okay, yeah, shot 18 could have been better, 9.4. But he goes again, he's got two more. His shot 19 for him. There's our gold medalist from earlier today. So Villani's now finished, final shot of 9.4. Just having a look now at Kalmakov, representing Azerbaijan, who's just down there on firing point H. So Luca of Romania still leads. There's a gap of 2.1 between him and Mastro Valerio of Italy. And 
And this is Kalmakov with his final shot of this series. Last shot was an 8.5. And follows that up with an 8.7. So another disappointing shot in the eight ring. Meanwhile, what can Mola do here? He's up to third. This is a very promising series for the German. Uh, he's 7.2. Uh, his coach just can't believe that. It's just like, oh, what's going on here? So the next set of eliminations now taking place, leaving us in sixth place, representing Ukraine. Maxim Himon leaves on firing point B. And Kalmakov of Azerbaijan will be leaving this final also. He goes from firing point H and finishes in fifth place. So Luka Jolder of Romania still leads. A total now of 199.0. There's a difference of 1.8 between him and Mastro Valerio of Italy. And it's the second Italian athlete, uh, Villani, in third place. Noah Mola still waving the flag for Germany as we're down to European athletes in this final. So Mola has crept up to fourth. That's not bad because he was sitting in sixth place at one point. So a 1.8 gap, another 1.8 gap, and then a 1.7. So Moller's still got some work to do. He finished top of qualification, but a 1.7 gap, it can be achieved. This is pistol shooting after all. I tell you, Italian coach is just discussing something. That's Sabine Martia and Francesco Bruno. So he's the competition leader, the left-hander, Luca Yolda. 10.3, great shot at this stage. And Mola with a 10.0. Mastro Valerio with a 10.4. Villani with a 10.0. Okay, Mola just composing himself, talking to himself as well. And what can Mola do here? 10.0 was his last shot. And just looking across and back to the target, I think, to try and steady his aim. It's clearly a technique that he obviously feels more comfortable with. I think it would drive me crazy, I think, trying to look away and look back. So 9.6 from the German. Meanwhile, so Matteo Mastro Valerio, who we're looking at now, last shot was a 9.6. There's some nerves out there. There's only four athletes left. Here's Moller again. 9.6 was his last shot. Uh, 10.4, that's better. Nod of the head as well. And the reaction from the German crowd says it all. Meanwhile, other shots across the nine ring. Now a 10.1 from Mastro Valerio. So this is Villani we're looking at right now. So Italy are guaranteed a medal of some sort. And two athletes left with four remaining. Just to tell, to tell me now what colour. So Noah Mula, here he is again. Last shot was a 10.4. Nine point eight. Meanwhile, Mastro Valerio has taken the lead in this competition. Not surprising. His last shot was a ten point three. But Yolda will have something to say about that with a ten point four. So back into the lead. 
with a gap now of 1.4 between the Romanian and the Italian. And they're right next to each other as well on firing points D and E. So Mola has just been really inconsistent in this final. And I think his coach knows that's it. He's blown it. 8.6, unfortunately for the German, puts his safety flag back into his pistol. He'll be leaving, missing out on a medal. <laughs> Finished top of qualification, but it wasn't a medal for today. Leaves in fourth place, representing Germany, Noah Mola. And Italy have a bronze medal. And it's a fantastic achievement. Gabriele Aldo Villani is the bronze medalist. And I think his coach just says, well done. Of course, it's okay for Italy. They're going to get another medal. It just now depends whether or not it's going to be silver or gold. So everything will now get reset for this gold medal match. This is where now the highest shot claims points. So the highest shot will receive two points. If the shots are the same, let's say for argument's sake, both shooters fire 10.0, then they will be awarded one point each. And it's the first to 16 points who will take the illustrious and coveted gold medal. So the coaches take their seats. Uh, the crowd hushes, getting ready for this gold medal match, which is now about to begin. So Romania versus Italy. Luca Yolda versus Matteo Mastro Valerio. Ten point four from the Romanian. Oh, an 8.7 from Mastro Valerio. That's not a great start to this gold medal match, but you do get a chance to go again and correct things. It's not about totals in terms of actual individual shots. It's about totals converting to points. So Romania now 2-0 in front in terms of these individual athletes representing their countries. So the left-hander versus the right-hander. Another cracking shot from the Romanian, 10.5. And 10.1, that's an improvement for Master Valerio, but not enough to take the series. So another two points goes to Luca Yolda. And I'm sure his coach is just thinking, do you know what, if you keep on with this, We've got a gold coming our way. Meanwhile, deep breath from Francesco Bruno, sits back in his seat, looks a little nervous. Can Mastro Valerio pull this back here? 9.6 from the Romanian. What can the Italian strike now? 10.7, what a shot. That's certainly gonna be a confidence booster. And the Italian is back in the race. It's four points to two. So this is real test now for Mastro Valerio. He's pulled back two points. Can he do it again? If he does, it would level it to 4-4. 9.4 from the Romanian. So there's a chance here for the Italian. Shake of the head from Luca Yolda. And a 10.0, he's done it, the Italian. Creeps back into this final. Four points each. He gets another two points, and the situation is now a draw.
So this is exactly what you want when it comes to these gold medal matches. Tied at this stage, four points each, 12 points shy of a gold medal. 16 points is the target. And now another shot from each athlete. Left hand versus right hand. Those triggers are just ever so sensitive. The slightly slightest movement is gone. That's a terrific shot from Luca Yolder. A 10.8. Oh, and Mastro Valerio with a 10.7. He's clearly got some stiffness in his back. That's the second time I've seen him try to stretch that out, keeping his feet firmly planted on the ground here in the finals hall. I'm not even sure Francesco Bruno, his coach, can believe what's going on here. So another 50 seconds, another series. Will it be Mastro Valerio? Will it be Yolda? Oh, 9.0 for the Romanian. That's possibly not going to be quite enough. It's going to need a bad shot from the Italian here. And a 10.0 firmly in the 10 ring. Only just, but it counts. And now six points apiece. So we're back level once again between these two. Luca Yolder led the competition in the ranking match series for pretty much most of the final. Mastro Valeria just crept up the scoreboard and then managed to sneak in there to the gold medal match. And he's now on a level footing here with the Romanian. There's been some great shooting from Mastro Valerio. And again, the Romanian not happy, 9.4, but it's okay for the Italian, a 9.9 .9 is high enough. That's a difference of 0.5. And it's enough now to put Mastro Valerio in the lead, eight points to six. And see there, did you see just glanced over at his opponent? They're right next to each other as well on firing point E and F. It's a left-hander versus a right-hander, so facially they are fronting each other off. I mean, this really is like the Wild West, isn't it? This is pistols at dawn, even if it is quarter to seven at night. Ten point three. That's a big improvement. Luca, yep. Head to the side, isn't sure. But a nine point three from the Italian means that we're back level once again. It's eight points each. And Mastro de Valerio, certainly the more animated of the two. Not only has he been doing just back stretches out, now just gives the hands a blow. That's just to get rid of some of the sweat and condensation. You don't want any slippiness on the on the butt of your on the handle of your pistol. So raises his pistol, does the Italian. Luca Jolda already taken his shot. Again, isn't quite sure. So so he says maybe. 10.3. Is it enough? Yes it is. 9.8. So once again the remaining goes in front. Two point difference, ten points to eight. Luca Yolda now six points away from a gold medal. We've had a timeout called by Francesco Bruno, who's the Italian coach. He's just going over now, just to have a word in Mastro Valerio's ear. And again, I think is he just checking his hand grip? Because again, we have seen Mastro Valerio just blowing on his hands a little bit. So I think maybe the coach is just saying, have you got a decent enough grip on your pistol? Is this is what's causing these inconsistent shots? Because Mastro Valerio is either up or down. And again, just, just looking at that chart, you can just see that. An 8.7 followed by 10.1, 10.7, back down to 10, 10.7, back down to 10. 9.9, 9.3, 9.8. Needs another decent shot in the 10 ring. No, he just has a glare. 
at Luca Yolda of Romania. Mastro Valerio means business. 10.5 from the Romanian, that's a terrific shot. No wobble of the head this time, he was confident. Follows it up with a 10.3. Again, Mastro Valerio just stretches his back once again. He's clearly uncomfortable out there. So 12 points to eight, it means Romanian is now four points in front. And this time, no look from Mastro Valerio to his opponent. Just goes straight to his pistol into the loading position. Loading command is given. And the start command. So Luca Yolder, can he edge closer to a gold medal here? I would say a 10.2 or above will certainly be enough. It's a 9.9. .9. Mastro Valeria really needs a good shot here. 10.5, that's superb. Oh, the crowd love that. And Luca Yolder's coach just looks over and thinks, oh, what on earth is gonna put this Italian away? Well, the battle continues. Now 12 points to 10. Nerves. And the coach, Francesco Bruno, takes a big gulp. Mastro Valerio, I would say, in terms of momentum, needs to win this series in order to stay in the hunt for the gold medal. Nine point two from the Romanian, so the Italian's got a chance, and he's done it. It's a nine point nine. That's exactly what he needed, it's back level. Is the momentum now with Mastro Valerio? Luca Yolda, who led this competition for so long, and it's literally been swinging both ways in this gold medal match. It's now 12 points each. We go into another series, series 13. Another 50 seconds added to the clock. Is the momentum still with the Italian? Mastro Valerio, who has won the last two series to pull himself back into this final. 9.5 from Luca Yolda. He's really not sure if that's going to be enough. And a 10.6 from the Italian. What a performance so far. These last couple of shots ever since Francesco Bruno went over for the timeout. It really has affected Mastro Valerio's performance. And now we have a timeout from Luke Yolder and his coach. And I think the coach is just, he, he's just saying, I don't know, I don't know. This just seems to be slipping away. I'm doing my best. And I think his coach is just saying, do you know what? You've led this entire, entire final. You've done ever so well in this gold medal match. Just see if you can keep your composure. I don't know though, Luke Yolder, does he look defeated already? I mean, momentum is certainly with the Italian at this stage. 14 points to 12. So Mastro Valerio could be one shot away from a gold medal. It all depends what the Romanian can do. Can Luca Yolder get a higher score? He will shoot first. And it's a 9.4. Mastro Valerio with a 10.2 and punches the air, as does Francesco Bruno, his coach. And Luca Yolda, who led the competition for so long, they came into the gold medal match. It's been a real battle between these two. And Mastro Valerio, absolutely delighted. What a moment for the young Italian. 19 years old, and Matteo Mastro Valerio is a European gold medalist. What a performance from Luca Yolder, silver medalist in the 10 meter air pistol men junior. A terrific performance from him, 18 years old, so still some years to go in his junior career. And a silver medalist here in Tallinn in Estonia. So the final announcements now of the medalists from Vladislav Lushin, the announcer.
So Gabriele Aldo Villani, the bronze medalist representing Italy. The silver medalist is Luca Jolder from Romania. And Luca Jolder, who's unlucky really to miss out on the gold, doesn't look too pleased with himself, but you do have a silver medal, Luca. Is Matteo Mastrovalero from Italy. And what a performance from Matteo Mastro Valerio of Italy. I think just absolute relief. Look at his face. Clearly having some physical problems while he was out there too. So I think they're just going back to grab their pistols uh, for some final photographs and the presentation. And then once these photographs are done, that'll be the final moments of this 10 meter air pistol men junior. We'll be back shortly though, mind you for the medal ceremony. So if you are just joining us and you've just seen the closing stages of this very exciting final, one of the best we've had so far here in Tallinn over the two days of the European Championships. If you are just joining and you want to watch it back, I would certainly urge you to do so. One of the best 10 meter air pistol men junior finals I've seen in a while. So my name is Rory McAllister. I'm just gonna say cheerio for now, just giving you a wave uh, to the camera, uh, just up in here on the gantry with arguably the best seat and view in the house. So we'll be back with the medal ceremony for the 10 meter air pistol men and junior on day two here of the European Championships here in Tallinn, Estonia. We'll see you shortly.
Good afternoon, or good evening even, and welcome back to Tallinn in Estonia for the end of day two of the European Championships. And we're just about to get underway with this final medal ceremony of the day. Hello, my name is Rory McAllister. I'll be your commentator for this medal ceremony. So this is for the 10 metre air pistol men junior. And I do love what they've done with the podium with the Roman numerals. There's the Italian coach, that's Francesco Bruno. So there's Mr. Alexander Ratner. He is the president of the European Shooting Confederation. He will present the medals. And he's accompanied by Mr. Mart Pusip a board member of the Estonian Shooting Sport Federation who will be providing the flowers to the medalists. So here's the bronze medalist, did ever so well. Representing Italy, this is Gabriele Abdo Aldo Villani, only 18 years old and already a bronze medalist. And a smile from the president, shake of the hand. And also there is the prize money as well. So what a moment for this young Italian. I do wonder if he's modeling his hair on Dustin from Stranger Things. Representing Romania, Luca so here's Luca Zonia of Romania, who I think will be disappointed to miss out on gold. One of the only left-handed shooters around after all. 10% of the world is left-handed, so he's already in a minority, but he did ever so well. He was leading the competition for most of it until the gold medal stage. Silver medalist representing Romania. Collects his certificate of prize money and the lovely bunch of flowers that they're handing out here, including the tulips. And the gold medalist representing Italy, Matteo Mastromareo. Now, what a performance from this young guy. If you've just joined us for this medal ceremony and missed the final, then I do urge you to watch it back. Absolutely superb from Matteo Mastro Valerio, the gold medalist representing Italy, receives his medal. We'll also get his certificate, looks up at the screen, can see himself on the big screens here in the final sort and receives his flowers. And we'll now stand for the national anthem of Italy. Please rise for the national anthem of Italy. So the national anthem of Italy rings round the finals hall here in Tallinn in Estonia. And the delighted scenes of the gold medalist, 18-year-old Matteo Mastro Valerio, just pipped Luca Jola into the silver medal position. The Romanian left-handed shooter did so well. Bronze medalist at the World Championships in Lima. Uh, now adds a silver medal from the European champions to that tally. And the bronze medalist also representing Italy, Gabriele Aldo Villani, just to the right of your screen there, as all the official photographs are taken for websites, social media, and various other places where photos get handed out these days. And the traditional biting of, of the gold medal, just to make sure that it's not a Christmas chocolate coin. No, Matteo, it's real, it's gold. 
So that concludes day two of the European Championships here in Tallinn, Estonia. My name is Rory McAllister, and from myself and the entire team that brought you this presentation, not only this evening, but throughout the day, uh, we will see you tomorrow for day three. Just excited, really, to think that we're already day three into this competition. We'll be here right the way through until Sunday. So if you would like to join us again, then you're more than welcome. You can go to the European Shooting Sport Federation website for the YouTube link. You can find all the details um, of our channel just there. So if you'd like to come back tomorrow, then please do so. I would urge you just to have a look at some of the finals uh, from today. You can watch them back on YouTube and we'll be back tomorrow. The final is at 1 p.m. local time here in Estonia and that's for the Air Pistol Mixed Junior. So from myself, Rory McAllister, hello and goodbye. We'll see you tomorrow for day three. Cheerio.